we are going to solve one problem on matrix chain multiplication this is one of the question uh, from the gate exam so now see four matrices m1 m2 m3 m4 their dimensions are given respectively can be multiplied in several ways with different number of total scalar multiplications so the respective dimension values are given p q r s t the values are given then minimum number of scalar mul multiplications needed is so they are asking for the minimum number of multiplications you, we can do if you want to multiply all the four matrices so let us suggest some scheme here so in place of p q r s t i have written the dimensions what about the dimensions they gave so now we are make, uh, making one strategy like this one that means we shall be doing multiplication so at first we shall be doing multiplication in between this and this then i shall do the multiplication with this at the end i shall do the multiplication with this m4 so at first m2 m3 will get multiplied then with that resultant matrix m1 will get multiplied and then m4 will get multiplied so let us do in this way so now you see we know this Uh, resultant uh, matrix will be resultant matrix R two three, which will be having dimension hundred and five. So this hundred and this hundred is matching, so they can go for multiplication. So the resultant matrix will be say resultant R, so one two three. So the matrix will have the dimension ten and five. Obviously, it can get multiplied with M four because M four is having five rows and eighty columns. So five five are matching. So if we go for the multiplication, it will be R one two three ten eighty. So that is the multiplication. Okay. So the multiplication can be done. Let me calculate the number of productions required. Scalar productions required. Here the number of scalar production will be hundred into twenty into five. So hundred into twenty into five. So this one. So for this one, I'm writing this. Okay. So have this one. Okay. R two three. Now here, when we are going for the multiplication, it is ten into hundred into five. So ten into hundred into five for this, for this resultant uh, matrix R one two three. Now when you are doing this multiplication, you are getting this, and that is nothing but ten into five into eighty. So that is my ten into five into eighty. So that is for that. So this is obviously ten thousand. It is five thousand, and it is four thousand. Go on adding. It is nineteen thousand. So nineteen thousand is the minimum multiplications required, and nineteen thousand is matching with this. And you see here, nineteen thousand is the minimum one. So nineteen thousand is matching. So I shall be going for option number C. So whatever we discuss in our matrix chain multiplication uh, video, the video where we discuss this particular term, we are implementing the same concept to solve this particular problem. Thanks for watching this video.